Hello and welcome back and we're continuing straight on uh, as we make our way up the base approach. Now one of the loading scenes actually just reminded me of something which is that if you use survival instincts then it will actually tell you whether an enemy will alert others when he's killed. So I've got to be careful here because obviously there's the big spotlight which is attached to a mounted machine gun and it slides from person to person so what I've got to do is take them out when the light is not on them. Gotta go check in. Need anything? Nah, I'm good. And uh, is it going to come back up to this guy at any point? Doesn't look like it so I'll just sneak a little bit closer. Yes, nobody was alerted by the man shouting loudly, Whoa! as I strangled the life from him. So that guy over there is not going to alert anyone if he's killed, except he probably will now because he's got the light on him. Zoom in, pull back. Headshot. Kaboom. Now, so we're going to keep using that because it's a really helpful little thing to do, actually. So, only problem is you do have to move to get it off the torches. Kaboom! Headshot again. Right, so there's that one last guard over there standing by the crate who's just been illuminated. So I'm going to wait till the light actually circles like all the way around past me. So I'm definitely not going to get caught by it myself. That was really stupid. Three, two, bucko. And that's everyone dead. So, now I've got to actually make my way up, not getting attacked by the gun. Can I shoot the gunner from here? There's a question. Okay, I'm going to at least, like, zoom in and see if I can... Danger, Will Robinson, danger. Oh, I thought there was a guy over there that I killed, and there was not. Uh, I think he's a bit further up. Yes, there he is. I think. Where is that other guy that I just shot in the head? Well, wherever he is, he's not here. So, moving up. That's one. Oh, I can get in here. Quick, get in. Huh. Now we hide from the light again. Because we are tiny scampering mouse. Okay, here comes that beam. Help oh, me out of here. Eh, yep, they got me. Shit! Oh, Jesus! Oh, that's a lot of bullets. Okay, this got exciting. I've got to get out of the machine gun fire. Run, 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 run. Whoa, that's just... Okay, where's this guy? Now there'll be another guy coming up. Oh, God. He was behind me. Why were they behind me? Where did they come from? Christ. Ha! <clears throat> Alright, so that'll get me some ammo and... Christ, that really kicks off in a bad way. There's the machine gun again. Don't like that machine gun. Hide behind the... Jesus. God damn right. This is going to be fun trying to move up on this then. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. Bullets everywhere. Bullets really coming at me now. Howie. Oh, I thought that I was protected behind that little... Uh, ah, I thought I was protected behind that stone barricade, and I was not. Oh, my God. Okay, someone's coming. I heard the steps, and someone yelled. So he's probably going to be coming through that door. Ooh. Right. We all done then. Good lord. Ho! 
that was a slightly more exciting opener to this episode than I had intended. I'd wanted a little sneaky, you know, run around the. Oh. God, there's more of them. Okay, hopefully they're coming down these stairs and I'll just be able to. Okay, so they're up there somewhere. I don't know where. I heard them, haven't seen them. Okay, let's get those senses on actually because that would be really helpful. Okay, I can't see anyone up here. So we're going to move up. We're going to move up sensibly and quietly and we're going to get this artifact over here because that's going to give me a minute to breathe. <laughs> this coin probably found <sighs> in Japanese circulation sometime in the mid 19th century. I really like the idea of Lara Croft in the middle of a pitched gun battle going like, ooh, shiny thing! And she goes over and there's like, and she's just like, ooh, I must examine this and figure out what sort of, when it was minted. There you are. Yes, I am a good shot. On my better days. Oh god, there's more of them. the hell this is ooh right in the heart how come I don't get to use the machine gun oh it overheated well screw you and all oh he's on fire now is he no he's not he's just <clears throat> wasting arrows getting fired at Well, if nothing else, I'd say that my reactions are probably very realistic to, you know, a scared university student just spray bullets everywhere and hope blindly that you hit the target. Shut up and let me have my justifications. Okay. So, I, th <laughs> I think that's everything done. And now, oh, is it left or right? I can't actually remember around here. Um, well, it looks like it was to the right, but going left did get me a whole load of stuff, so... I'm going to say that I chose the right decision, and I, I chose to do that, and it was entirely intentional. Up we go. This bunker. World War II era. Yeah. The Japanese. And I missed the bullets. Oh, my God. It's freezing. Yes, because everyone knows that the best uh, cure for having a stab wound through your abdomen... No, I'm not going to stop going on about this. I've got a hole in my guts and I'm swimming around in freezing bloody water. Okay. Yet more. Honestly don't know if I'm supposed to be like sneak killing or what's going on here. Okay. No one leaves. Yeah, it's never creepy when you're walking around somewhere and you just see no one leaves all over the place. Oh, yeah, I remember this. Careful, careful. It's loaded with fuel. Yeah. No shit. What do they need it for? I have a feeling I'm about to get into a gunfight I don't have a choice about. To the tower. How the hell are we going to get it up the stairs? Good question. Let's just leave it here for now. Damn it! I need help! I'm taking fire! Okay, third one. Three headshots. I'd just like to say that I'm officially fucking awesome. Sorry about the swearing, but I'm really excited when I do well. Because I don't normally do well, as you've noticed. Crunch. <clears throat> Now she's still sort of in sneak mode, which makes me a bit cautious as to just sprinting out ahead, because I have a feeling there's probably then... Oh! Top of the stairs. Okay, no one at the top of the stairs. 
I wonder if I could have blown that barrel up. See, could I have done it with an unmodified arrow of any sort? Oh, I'm supposed to light that on fire. How can I do that then? Probably by finding something to light my torch on fire first. Chris, you idiot. Where's something to light my torch on fire? There's something to light my torch on fire. Of course, I probably already missed. I have a feeling this is going to be another collectible thing, isn't it? Light all the torches on fire and get shiny XP. Non-believer. How many of those am I going to have to... Oh, I know what happens up here. Didn't mean to fire there, obviously, but if I go along here a bit, then yeah. See, that's the thing. Every once in a while, a game will throw a jump scare at you that you really remember, and that's one that I remember from this game. You're not catching me out more than once, mate. Into the next... Oh, yep. I remember this room as well. Jump up. Jump up and get down. Whee! Thump. Okay. That's it, gas. Gas over here. No escape. Okay, through we go, because there's the gas, and the gas is hurting me, and obviously if he gets through, then I'm in real trouble. So then what we do, grab this, and we throw that by going like this. God! Damn, that's a big explosion. Oh, hang on, I wonder if this will work. That's really gnarly... Um, coughing going on in the background there. Oh, do I not have... Are there no more of those torches? Now that I've blown up the... Ah! And I can't just obviously light my torch off any of these many conveniently placed fires, can I? Yeesh. Cool, I got myself a Sten gun. Please. I'd like to say absolutely that this is a mercy kill. Go to hell. I don't quite know why I'm saying go to hell at him, because that was, like for me at least, that was a mercy kill. Okay, so I should now have a new weapon, which is my machine gun. Expedition field report. Yep, so this is now all these different journals, they just they weave out the story of what was going on in this place. Um Okay. So, on the top I've got my bow. On the bottom, I've got my gun. On the right I've got my machine gun. And you know what? I have a feeling stepping into this dark room I might need that machine gun. Now, light her up. Now you die. Oh, and the door's closed behind me. Okay. Shit, okay. That's one down. Ah! Damn it. Okay, so, um, clearly with the machine gun, the trick here is short control bursts. Treat it more like a rifle than a machine gun, because it's hellishly inaccurate. Inaccurate. Are you still alive? Yes, you are. Right, how much can you guys take? Headshot. That's another one down. There we go, okay, there. Oh, they're down on the floor now. Uh, oh, I'm completely out of bullets for this as well now. Okay. 
Okay, get behind cover. Ah, sh oh, no, those guys isn't that. Basically, I'm just going to let them jump up to me because, you know, I can do that to them when they jump up. They're sodding idiots. Okay, there's one left. There he is. Yeah, light yourself on fire, jackass. I like to think I actually did quite well in that firefight just now. Like, that could have gone a whole lot worse given my previous record on these sorts of things. Okay, so there's a camp there. I don't need to pick up any arrows. I think I am just going to set down at the camp quickly and make sure that, um... Yes, I have more gear. So I can now, of course, upgrade the rifle as well, so I've got to start making decisions between sort of... I'm going to put that straight on that, though, because every one of my pistol... Like, I'm using the pistol a lot versus that machine gun at the moment. So when I get later, I'll start upgrading the machine gun as well. So I would say I may end up having to split this into two parts, mostly just for the ease of uploading or because it's going to turn into over an hour. And it takes me about sort of seven hours to upload just one of the 30 minute videos. So obviously you can see why I'm needing to um, just be sensible really. But I will get just out of this base I think before I end this episode just so that like it can all be um can be finished and like divided into neater oh yeah that's what you want to see <laughs> I just I do love all the stuff they did about this like the crazy cultness of it I think is really good so actually I'm just gonna again you know I'm not paranoid but when people have jumped out of you Yeah, I'm not paranoid, he says. 30 seconds before somebody jumps out of a frickin' vent at me. Good thing I am paranoid. Right, remember that for later when I can actually come back and light my torch at will. Don't think that's gonna work, Lara. Why the hell are you out of breath? Lara's not out of breath, I've just been involved in pitched gun battles. Well, unless you see a radio shack around, you're gonna have to patch it manually through the maintenance panel. Okay, that sounds simple enough. Yeah, well, uh, Famous last words. You're gonna have to find it first. On those old towers, they installed those panels high up. I mean, way high up. Here's a question. Like, I'm not questioning that this is really where they installed the panels. Right. Why? Why would you possibly put the maintenance panel at the frickin' top of those things? No wonder they constantly... People died on the jobs in the old days. They were just constantly doing stupid crap like that. Hey, here's an idea. Let's install it up there. I am alone now. Yeah, if somebody actually does know why they install them so high up, feel free to tell me in the comments. Ooh, ow. I've actually done that. Really not fun. Now I'm inside Lara. And there's a joke there that I'm not going to make. Under the pipe. <laughs> She's just oh, snarky Lara. Snarky Lara is the best Lara. Said it before, and I'll say it again. Yeah, and I'm out. Out into the light. And it's a new location, the base exterior. So. Here's another campfire, and this is going to be where this episode comes to an end. So we sit down. Skill point. Oh! Now we have brawler upgrades, which are... 
I think I'm going to put the pain tolerance up, given how much I get punched and hit in these fights. Do I have enough uh, salvage to make a new thing? Probably not, because that's not very much salvage. But we'll have a look in the the gun. Um, okay, so that's going to about do it for this episode, I guess. So, um, in the next episode, we'll climb to the top of that damn radio tower. So I hope you're enjoying this so far, because I know that I am, and I'll catch you at the next one. See you later!